again i'm speaking here introduction to ai is our module name and the problem formulation is our topic today we will see in simple way with the help of the some examples a real life example i will introduce here to motivate you for proper learning now you can see problem formulations so its definition is saying to us uh, how you can formulate the problems because a problem can be solved by the many sources in many way but the problem we have here what is the necessary steps or necessary action i must take to solve the my problem in simple and smooth way so it is one of the core steps of the problem solving which decide what action should be taken to achieve the formulated goal so that is a very very important points you have to keep in mind so in ai this core part is dependent upon software as and just like example of the playing a chess so i'm playing the chess while the computer so based from the, with the as in terms of the opponent i can say so everything is depend on the movement or everything is depend on the opponent's movement of computers based opponent i can say so software agent i can use so why i have to use a software agent because ai is a part of the computer science subject and computer science subject i am speaking so i have to use a term software agent not a hardware agent so it is totally depend on the software agent which consisted of the some component to formulate the associated problem so what are the following components that is a point so the components are more important to formulate the problem in simple way so if talking about the components here that is very very important points we will see after a couple of the second but let me explain in simple way the problem formulation or i can write in my way a problem formulation i am writing at the bottom top side just look at a problem formulation means to formulate the problem to form formulate the problem in simple way in simple way to achieve goal that is very concise statement i am writing here for a betterment and you can see there is a rubric here you can solve this rubric within the 10 minutes or Uh, if you are going to the wrong direction so it will take the one hour you are not able to solve problem so problem is we have the is known as a challenge accepted you are accepting the challenges to solve the problem it means you are decided your mind you have a goal it is like it is like just similar to after the facing examination or after the completion examination you are expecting you will get the 8 point or 9 point ccp but that is a challenge for you so how you face your challenge how you are writing the examination that is a steps which are making your great in good or bad manner as you are not expecting that is the point so after solving your problem after some time so definitely time is a factor which will be applicable so after the some time your problem is sorted out so now you will be say yourself i have solved my problem so do not take any problem as a formal problem. Or, or a casual purpose. Just take any problem as a challenge. So you are uh, you are just challenging yourself to, to identify the solution of a problem that can be the part of the problem formulation. Just like solving the rubric problem. Now the point I have written on the top side on the my side it is clear to all right now. Or anyone who need to ask any question, so I will ask the question by the slide 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 by slide. So once slide is clear, then we can move to the next. Yes, tell me right now. The this slide is clear. What is the problem formulation? Yes, yes sir. Please. Yeah, anyone who need to ask question, so you can ask. So the definition of the problem formulation is clear. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good. Yes, sir. Good. So as I told you, few couple of the seconds ago, the component of the formulate the associated problem. So what is the problem you are having to solve in the review problem while playing the chess game, and uh, while facing the examination or different kind of the problems we have. We have n number of the problems in our life as well. I would like to speak more and more application based on the our life as well. So we have n number of the problems. 
but how you can solve the problem that is a very very challenging task so take a take a problem as a challenge so first step is very very important point that is the initial state so these are what these are the some points that define that what you have to follow proper steps to solve the problem as we are taking as a challenge so initial state so initial state is what that is the point i'm speaking from the mystart as well so we can understand more detail as well with the help of some example as well this state require the initial state of the problem which start the ai is in toward the specific goal so this is just like similar to uh, defining the variable just like i'm taking the example of the defining the variable so i am not defining any variable i am not initializing any variable so how i can say what would be the initial value of the my variable so in the c++ and the c what is we are getting it is getting the garbage value i am not talking about the python and java so but i'm talking about the c or c++ programming so what i am observing if i am not initializing any value i'm trying to print the such value so it will print the garbage value because my values or my variables was not initialized so every state must have the initial state it is just like similar uh, you can say uh, you need to move from one place to another place so a to b so which is your initial state or what is the initial value that is the a so a would be our initial state i can write here for a better man and this b would be your destination or the we can say the last state last state or that is your goal you need to cover and what is the action you are applying what is the action you are applying so this action is defined by the some rules and regulations see if i need to drive a car if i need to face the examination if i need to do something if i need to move one place to another place so what is the rule i am following so that is my point while facing the examination i am not able to face the examination during the while uh, driving the car driving a car is following the different rules and facing the examination different rule while eating the food while getting the good meals is a different rule how you are getting the good food how you are driving the car both are the or these three or four different approaches are the different from each other so you can't mix up the two multiple problems that is a point so actions means the associated or the relevant action should be applicable followed by the some rules and regulation we now we are studying now we are we are uh, uh, getting some concept from the online mode only so parallelly you can take the cup of the tea parallelly you can take the food but when taking the class in physical mode in the offline uh, case you are coming to the campus you are taking the class offline mode so are you able to you can able to take but uh, it is uh, not a good uh, manner to take the food during the class time so two parallelly part you have two parallel action you can't follow that is the point you can do the two parallel action we can do but that should be meaningful that should be relevant so i mean to say that over here the action we can apply that should be meaningful and the action means the meaningful action we are following that should be governed by the some rule and regulations that is a point okay so now if talking about the transition transition basically is a state that uh, integrates or that compose the your actual actions which is to be uh, done and what is the previous actions we have so it provide the integrations or uh, linkages or relationship between the previous action or current actions look at this example i am just uh, uh, yeah this one so a is our initial state and b is our last state so in between we have uh, some different part so a to this point i am moving this is the x point and this is the y point so a to x i am moving so what is the action i have applied move from a to x and x to y i am moving so what are the action which is applied on the x to y so the action that is a to which is known as the x to y and the action a1 which is known as the a to x so a1 and a2 must have a relationship and that is to be known as a transition so transition from the one state to another state and that is known as the relationship between the action a1 and a2 that is a point do not think about detail man just think the simple concept only now next one is fourth one is goal state 
this state is just uh, defining the or determining the specified goal that can be achieved by the integrated transition model or not so whenever the goal achieves stop and the action and the forward into the next step determine the cause of the achieve the goal so this goal state can be attained goal voltage can be identified by the what is the duration what is the cost to what is the testing we have taken to achieve the our goal and the total cost or total uh, uh, path cost or we can identify by the path costing and this path costing we can determine by the how many actions we have been applied that is simply i will take an example of the real life example of your uh, uh, programming way then you will tell me sir. what are the yes tell me so can you explain path costing once again yeah yeah i am coming i am coming i am coming but just uh, i was on the goal test but i am coming on the path costing so uh, uh goal test i was on the goal test so goal test means uh, the test uh, what is the testing we are applying from a to b are we getting the right goal or not that can be defined by the goal test it is just similar to example you have decided a goal you will need to get the 9.4 cgpa in this current semester that is a goal but after the facing examination due to some uncertainty or due to the reason you are not able to face some examination due to it should not be happened but some was supposed it so you are getting only 7.4 that is a two uh, less grade you are getting so your goal was failed that is a model you have in mind that is a point and path costing uh, path costing means from one uh, path of one so a source to destination uh, uh, movement you can say the initial state to the last state or goal state you are moving so what is the cost and this cost we can assign by the some value it is just like example of the uh, as values have you remember have you heard the term about the um, uh, uh, in the MST MST is a minimum spanning between in the data structure you have studied in which we have assigned some values to the our ASAs are you remembering all these points and how we are getting the minimum cost of the our spanning tree that is the total cost which are assigned to the our ASAs is it true just tell me right this one yes, in the sir. MST in the MST we can have n number of MST but to, as the name suggests is spanning tree we can have the n number of the spanning tree okay but uh, you will choose only the minimum spanning tree that defines the minimum cost of the tree is it true so that is the point so path costing we can define we can assume by the assign some values it is clear right now now path costing is clear uh, yes tell me right now anyone who have any doubts in the path costing no sir okay no, sir. okay so here i am just taking a simple example and so, so in different colors so everything will be clear to you uh, let me take an example okay it is visible to all i am writing something here example of the problem formulation problem formulation component uh is it visible just let me right now i'm writing here something yes sir yeah good okay okay so uh suppose uh, you are residing in the x city okay this is the x city and uh, you have to move by city from the x city so this is our what this is our problem can i write the problem like this one our problem is to move from x city to y city now let me write now the problem is clear the our problem is to move from the x city to y city is it true yes sir clear okay and uh, x city to y city we have a total distance you can tell me what distance i must take you can tell me any distance just tell me the distance 
150 kilometer okay 150 kilometers that is a great point i am getting yeah so uh, let me write something here in detail manner what we have covered the exit so this would be your initial state initial state and here the cost of uh, this can would be zero because at the initial level the cost would be zero am i right yes sir yes sir okay okay and this would be your uh, goal state i can say right here this is your goal state on last state and uh, here the cost uh, should be 150 so if you need to move one uh, city x city to y city you have given the data maximum you can cover the 150 if it is uh, if you are choosing the different other path and our cost is going more than or beyond the 150 so our model is not perfect as we have decided so if talk about the action so what are the actions uh, in between uh, x city to y city there are the some villages some there are small town is uh, coming so i'm moving from by the my car so i will like to uh, use this kind of the box okay uh, you can just assume this is the car i'm not uh, good in the designing okay so i am moving by the car from x city to y city this is my initial state that is cost equal to zero so in between uh, this is what this is the first uh, we can say the first checkpoint so from x city to this is the initial state to this uh, c1 is the our first checkpoint and this could be known as intermediate state this bit we known as the intermediate state so from the original point to the checkpoint i am moving by the some actions and this is known as the action a1 is it true right now we are action this is the action a1 is our actions okay so what are the rule i am applying i am applying the driving rules only now i am moving to the next point that is a checkpoint uh, c2 i am coming here so here we have a other actions that is the action a2 so a2 would be the our actions same thing here we have a c3 other third checkpoint this checkpoint could be the some uh, dhaba some hotel we are st stopping your vehicle to take the good couple of the tea only that is only reason so next one is a uh, a3 we can apply so this would be our actions this would be our action a3 and last we can take a4 so a4 are the other actions these actions can be applied i can write here can be applied by using rules because in our life uh, whatever we are doing that is followed by the rules without the rules nothing is possible in good manner so that is the reason we have the four actions the point is here we have i was talking about the initial state so our first component initial state we have done actions we have done now what is mean by transition transition i can explain like this one transition this transition word should be clear to all so i can write over here transition a1 to a2 and a2 a3 and a3 to a4 so i'm having the four different action so a1 is our action and a2 is our uh, next point next action so these actions uh, actions are having a relationship a relationship or uh, integration a bonding we can say integration so this is known as a transition what is a transition you are coming from the first state to another state so transitions can be done with, uh, done by the our actions between the states so transitions i can write over here the statement transitions can be done by action between states 
So I was talking about the C1, C2, C3. So these are what these are known as the intermediate states. Intermediate states. Okay. C1, this C2, C3 are the intermediate states. So this is a transition we have seen. So initial state we have seen, action we have seen, transition we have seen, voltage we have seen, and path costing. Now I let me explain the for the goal test. Your plan just move from X city to Y city, and this is 150 kilometer you can cover. So now you are happy to you can see. But uh, you are just trying from X city to Y city, but on the certain points, maybe certain point, uh, you miss the path. Okay, so I can say you miss the path, and uh, your distance will be covered by 170 kilometers. Okay, so miss the path and say 170 kilometer taken to reach at Y city. So this is what this is telling to us. Our model is failed model is filled as we have decided and you can say what is the cost how we can identify the path cost so this distance will be covered by the something like the, I can take the 40 kilometer uh, this can be the 20 kilometer and this could be around uh, 60 kilometer I can take and uh, rest of this I can uh, get it the 30 kilometer but on the, this suppose this point uh, and just just look at the mouse pointer I'm just forget the path, uh, maybe some for a different kind of reason. So I missed the path, so I'm just reaching the by city to cover the 170 kilometer. It means I consume the more and more petrol, so fuel consumption very high at the time, as I have decided. So this is the reason we have the model made. So gold taste is telling to us you have to uh, cover, you have to build your model as you have decided. The cost should be less than, or cost this should be less than as you've decided or equal to. But if it is going to more than, then your model will fail as you decide. So you have to rebuild your model. That is known as rebuilding the model. And path costing. Path costing means total cost, what is your habitism. So A1 is our action, which is covering the distance X, T2. There's some checkpoint that is a 40 kilometer. This is our a uh, small part of the path cost. So after adding the 40 plus 20 plus 60 plus 30, so we can this putting the path cost. If you miss the path, so our cost will be the 40 plus 20 plus 60 plus 30 plus 20 as well. And this 20 is extra distance you're covering to unnecessarily consume the fuel. That is a point. So this is a real example I have taken to explain my idea. And this is known as the problem formulation and how we can formulate the problem. Why? Taking the real example with the some components of the problem population. Now, this is the point. Now, it is clear to all right now. Everything I have written yes, here. Yes, sir. everything. Yeah, I've. So, sir, I never. Yeah, yes, tell sir, me. Of course. Yeah. Sir, you are told that our model is filled. So, that was in which step? See, that is. Uh, this is the point. Uh, this is the point uh, where you uh, you have taken a wrong turn wrong turn to enter into the city wrong turn in, enter into the city wrong turn to enter into the city enter uh, into the city let me write correctly yeah this general example i'm taking to idea and this is the beginning of the AI. So AI is coming from this idea. So artificial intelligence saying how you are you are applying your intelligence to cover this path. And from this idea, you can just set GPS that is a global position system was much popular to uh, achieve your goal. Why you are following the Google map to go into the unknown city and you don't know the path? Why? To save your fuel, to save your time, and to follow the proper uh, goal as you have decided. But there's no guarantee on this technical term. Suppose you are moving, so you are taking the wrong turn. Okay, suppose that it, uh, it would not be possible. 
but suppose that it will be happened by the some uh, uh, directions you have taken the wrong turn again it's showing the 152 170 or maybe the 190 kilometers because we can't trust on the uh, any applications but to suppose you're trusting on the application you're covering the 170 190 kilometer rather than the 150 kilometer and it is happened with the many times uh, in our real life as well so that is the point so here we have the api so we can trust on the google uh, map but every time you're trusting it is happening so i'm telling very very one simple story when i'm visiting a city so what I plan, I need to cover only the 100 meters. So I'm just uh, I'm known to the particular restaurant. So what I did, I used my Google map. The restaurant was just 100 meter far from the, my locations, but uh, I'm just trusting on that day time, the Google map. Based on the Google map, I just followed the complete path. Then it took around the 350 meters to reach the, my restaurant. So someone asked, someone told me, why are you covering from that part? You just come directly by this path you can cover. So this is the uh, situation which has happened with me. So that is reason at the time my thinking I have, my thinking was feared because I was trust on the Google uh, map. So sometimes uh, we can use our logic. So that is a point uh, here AI will be more applicable. So AI is telling to you, you are trusting on the Google map. That is great. No issue. But you have to use your logic. So that is the problem formulation. How we can formulate the problem? So there are n number of solutions we can. Have. So this is the, my idea I have shared with you. Google uh, the uh, problem formulation and with the help of the some components. And what are the components? I have depicted with the different different colors over here. Okay. So this kind of the example will not be available in any kind of the books. This is the, my experience I am shared to all the people. That is the reason we are here. Okay. So it is clear to all right now. Yes, sir. So how is, should I take this kind of example or should I take the bookish example? Just tell me. Right? No, sir. Okay. This is better. Okay, this is good. Yes, sir. Yeah, okay. So I will keep as it is so notes. So I will share to all the people. Then you can utilize uh, this kind of example for notes for fun. No, sure. So example of the problem formation. So let us take the some different example and those example of the famous example. And this is the mouse path problem. What are the points we have? Just let me explain. Uh, better I will so explain the this image. Uh, are you able to see this image? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. So this problem is known as the mouse path problem. Why I'm sharing this problem? Because at the time of the examination, you will be able to write some good example. Okay. So that is the reason I'm taking the standard example over here. So mouse path problem. This is known as the mouse path problem. So what is the problem statement and what is the problem things we have? So problem definition is saying to us, mouse is hungry and mouse is in a puzzle where there are the some cheese. So mouse will only be satisfied if mouse eat cheese. This is the problem definition. So problem statement can be identified by the some points. What is the first point? Problem definition. So what is the problem definition? As I told you, mouse is hungry and mouse is in a puzzle, as you can see on the image, and where there are some cheese, and mouse will only be satisfied if mouse eat cheese properly. And there are some uh, points where the cheese are available, as you can see on the screen. Problem limitations. Some paths are closed, that is a dead end. Uh, are you able to see? There are some paths which are dead end. Yes, sir. OK, uh, let me show you the proof. If I'm moving this point, then uh, there here is a dead end. But if I'm moving this point, so mouse can eat the cheese. OK, so there are some dead end. Uh, for a better man, I can write here. This is the dead end. Now, problem solutions, what would be the problem solution expecting? Or each location where is cheese and eat minimum one cheese. So there are the possible solution cheese pieces. Some house can. So if I'm choosing this path, you can see if I'm moving from this path, as you can see on the my uh, pointer, which is depicted by the line or drawing point. So mouse can eat the, this cheese. Yes, I'm marking into the circle. If I'm moving this point, so there is no cheese and there is an end. 
if I'm moving this point, so I can reach this point and I can have this cheese. I can also have uh, this cheese as well. Okay. So these are the sub points. Yeah. And uh, what is the solution is space? Solution is space to reach uh, cheese. There are the multiple paths possible. So the operations where well, you can take the up, down, left, right. So as you can see, I have taken the up, down, left, right. So this is a real uh, problem we can implement uh, into the AI. So these are the problem which is just uh, used to improve the, my ability to or to improve the, my logic to learn the AI in better way. So this is a mouse path problem. Now this problem is clear to all right now. Yes, sir. So what is the uh, for your notes purpose? Just don't want worry. Uh, I have written everything over here. What is the problem statement? So these are the problem statements. I can underline problem statements composed by the first point. That is a problem definition, as I spoken already. Problem limitations. So problem statement must be consisted by the all the points. So in the examination, you have to write properly. That is a point. Next one is problem solution. What is expected solution you are having? Now, problem uh, solution space and what are the operation you can take? So the oper operators means these are known as the actions. You can move. Okay, so you can move. Move uh, in these direction. These are the actions. Okay, these direction. This is known as the our actions. What kind of actions I can take? This is very simple problems. Okay, so in the exam time, if I'm asking the mouse path problem, just uh, depict this example and uh, write all the points properly in detailed manner as well. Okay. Now, next, uh, I have the another uh, this problem. Measure for liter using the three buckets. Okay. So what is the problem? I can speak over here. Here I'm expecting you will be involved yourself. So for a betterment, what I have just uh, I would like to share this problem. Okay, first look at this problem and then we will go to the other problem. So what are the problem I'm taking? What are the problem is just basically the first problem under into the problem formulation that is used to improve your idea. Here, what is the point I'm writing? Here, suppose solving any problem if I'm writing the some points in algorithm way. Algorithm, what we have to write in the algorithm? Algorithm is nothing which is the step-by-step solve, -step solution of the whole problem. So what are the steps I'm writing of the my solution? That is known as the algorithm. So in the AI or in the artificial intelligence subjects, of course, if I have the problem statement and I identify the problem statement, if I'm writing the some rules to solve the my problem, and that is known as the production rule. I will tell you later on about the production rule in detail manner with the help of some other examples. But here we need to understand about this concept that is a problem formulation. So here we have a what are the problem first. So uh, just uh, open your eye and just listen carefully. Measure the four liter bottle from the five liter and three liter water jar. So how you can do? Just can you tell me right now? And this is the point where you can apply your logic. And for learning the AI, your logic will be good. I'm not saying the best, but logic should be good. That is reason. So problem statement is clearly here written. We have a three liter and the five liter uh, water jug and an unlimited source of the tap water. And we need to measure the four liter from this and how you will do that. Tell me right now. You can think and tell me. So first we will fill the five liter jug. And okay. uh, after that, uh, uh, we will trans uh, from the five liter jug. We will fill the three liter jug. So in the five liter one, we will uh, only two liter would have been left. Then mm -hmm. we would transfer it to the four liter jug. Then again, okay. repeat the process again, and then we'll have the four liters. Okay, uh, I got your point. So what I will do? Uh, just you can speak, and I can uh, write all the points. First, what I will do? We have a one jug that is uh, I can write here the jug one and jug two so what i will do first tell me the first step first we will fill the five liter jug full okay so okay so jug two is 
initially it has the zero value yes sir zero zero so first uh, i am filling the 5 liter jug by the 3 3 or 5 5 it yes, will be filled by the, it, it will be filled by the okay because we don't have any liter parameter or any any other tool so by which we can measure so that is yes. a good point next one so after that uh, uh, we will transfer the water of 5 liter jug into the uh, jug one until the jug one is full okay this is the three so its remain would be the two yes sir okay that good. that we will transfer into the the uh, final jug that is jug three okay so here we have a three so how we can make this uh, jug will be full again we will repeat the same process once again so okay uh, after two repetitions we'll have four liter so final jug what we are, what we are doing in the final jug uh, we are transferring uh, uh, pouring the two liter water from the jug two yes sir okay and uh, this would be a treaty process okay again this will be zero am i right and yes, then sir. this will be zero and then what i will do again repeat the same process okay uh, we'll fill so it. so it, it i find filling by the five then just two and just one both will be filled so that is the point where, where would be the jug jug two was not empty uh, so jug uh, jug two was em after we transferred two liter water jug two uh became empty yeah. okay so this would be one so if you mean to say that here we can transfer so we can fill so because its capacity is four only so it would be two and here will be the one so no need no need to fill the again this one uh -huh, yes no, sir yes no need to no need to fill the uh, two will not be required to fill next time yes okay, sir so, yeah, no need to require to fill this one yeah. Anyone got the point? How we can do it, or should I explain? Uh, sir. Yes, tell me. Sir, in the uh, problem statement, it hasn't mentioned that we have a final jug which is of four liters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, sir, we need to take that jug, or we have to do only with a three liter. We have to take only jug one and jug two to pouring the water into, or to fill the water of the four liter jug only. We have to only take the three and five uh, liter jug to fill the four liter jug. Okay. So, yeah, everyone got the point, or should I explain my uh, as according to me, my point? Okay, I'm explaining. Uh, uh, so we can also do it this way that uh, in case we don't have a four liter jug, there is another approach. Yeah, tell me which approach. Uh, first we'll uh, fill the just just, just, just one second. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, let me take different color for your point. Just tell me. First, what I should do? Uh, first we'll fill the jug one. Okay. Three and uh, three liter. So it will be three, and we can pour the three liter jug over. But definitely, this one we can do. And, uh, and uh, then we'll empty this uh, three liter into the five liter so that the five liter jug has three liters water in it. Mm -hmm. Into the five liters uh, jug too. Okay, if I'm filling the five liter jug, so it will be the five liter. I can pour the five liter jug uh, into the three, so it will contain two. So two, three will be the five, so it will not be possible. So how we can measure the one liter? No, sir. Uh, I'm saying that uh, initially both are empty and we first fill the jug one. So we okay. have three liter in jug one. Okay, okay. I'm doing, I'm doing. Just uh, that is very, see, that is the point. Oh, good. I'm just filling this one. So it will be three. Okay, tell me now. And then we'll pour all the liquid in jug one to jug two. Okay, jug one to jug two. So I can transfer this one. So this will be three and this will be zero. And tell. Yes, sir. Uh, um, yes. Then uh, we'll fill that uh, jug one again. Okay. So we have three liter in jug one again. Okay, got it. And we'll again empty uh, this jug into the five liter till the five liter is full. 
uh, okay so we can do uh, this will be 3 plus 2 and it will contain one only yeah that's fine yes sir so now we have uh, one liter in the jug one okay and uh, five liter in jug two okay so uh, now we can empty the jug two mm -hmm. and so pour all the pour yeah. all the content of jug one into jug two jug two or jug uh, four, final jug no jug two jug two so it finally will... Finally, what would happen is jug one would be empty and jug two will have one liter water. Okay, so you mean to say that we can uh, pour one here and uh, uh, then, uh, okay, so it would be zero again and uh, we can transfer uh, this water here. So five to three, so it will be three and it will be two and uh, this three we can pour over here. Yes, sir, we can again fill the jug one and we'll get okay. three plus one four. Yeah, okay, this is the this is another solution. That is the point. So water jug problem is very standard problem. I'm taking here to explore my idea. You can solve any problem by the various way, but that is the point which point you are taking. That is your point. So you can solve any problem. That is a good point. Yeah. Uh, excuse yeah. me, sir. Yeah, yes. Any other solution sir, you have just take me. No, sir. Actually, what I was asking previously also, sir, since in the problem statement, we uh, we have it hasn't mentioned that we have a final jug of four liter. So, sir, we only have to make four liters out of three and five and we do not have to use a final jug. We have means that's what I'm asking. Oh, see, it's a yeah, so image is telling to us and it is clearly mentioned the image. You can use only three and five. So it is a simple example I've taken here, but uh, at the exam time, I will write the proper point so you can understand what you have to do so see in the problem statement we have a three liter and five liter jug and unlimited source of the tap okay so you can use unlimited source of the tap and we need to measure the four liter jug it means you need to fill the four liter jug from the these two jugs what is the three jug, three liter jug and five liter jug and how you will do that just you can write the all the steps that, that is the point and that is the point so it is clearly mentioned on the top side Measure the five liter. The measure means you need to fill the four liter jug uh, by the barter from the five and three liter water jug. That is simple. Way. It is clearly mentioned over here. Yes, now tell me. Yes, sir. It's clear. Yes. Okay. So uh, the one student is telling the different uh, solution. Other student is telling the different solution. They're definitely you are on the right. But while applying the proper approach, you ultimately you are getting the solution. So your both solutions are will be applicable. So that is the point. So here, this is the point where you can improve the ability to learn the artificial intelligence. That is the point. So here we are not picking the artificial word right now. We are picking the intelligence word. So in the intelligence, how you are solving your problem, how you are applying your ability to learn the, uh, to provide the or to generate the solution. That is a problem. So here I mentioned the water jug problem one. I have another problem. Then I will see. See, this is a solution. Here we have a solution steps. So as a student told me, that as per the students, we have the step number one, two, three, four, five, and finally at the five step, we can solve this. Problem. You may solve the problem within six step. You may solve the problem within the four step. So it's your choice, no issue. We can pick any one of them. So here now I'm not applying the time complexity. I'm not applying any kind of space complexity. So that is I'm not missing the data. I'm not. A, checking the performance of data. So no uh, time complexity, no space complexity kind of factor will be applicable. Yes, we can have the multiple solution and we can opt the both solution as our uh, desired solution we are getting. So that is the point. So here we have a one solution. As I, if we are getting the two solution, we are getting the multiple solution, we can also have. So you yeah, need to find the possible solutions. And while uh, formulating the problem, as I told you, at the our beginning uh, time of the class, we can have the end of the solution and from the next step or what is the next level we have to optimize the solution of the problem because we can keep only the one best solution at the time we need to apply the optimization approach to get the better or best result so here we are just identifying or finding the solution so we are not bothered about right now the optimization and that is under coming to the optimization the problem that will be the different topic that part we will see into that talk. here we're going to just discuss only the if we have a problem then how we can formulate the problem so as what you have been observed from this problem 
from the what are the problem the first problem you try to formulate the problem you try to get the solution of the problem so one student is getting the solution other student is getting different solution that is a good way so this is what this is known as a part of the learning this is a part of the perception and this is a part of your reasoning how do you are applying the reasoning how you are learning the uh, uh, getting solution and how you are perceptive how you are having the perception to understand the problem so here what i'm following i'm following the three important components i can write over here what i'm following or i can write over here to solve any problem to solve any problem we are following we are following three components components to get the solution what are the components first component reasoning can i say is tell me can i say i am pulling the first number reasoning next one is perception and third one is after getting the solution my learning will fruitful so i am following the learning so can i say these are the my three uh, intelligence component i am applying yes sir tell me right now yes sir so this is the way so when we try to learn something we will understand any topic by applying the proper steps so initially i didn't tell you about the what is the intelligence what is the intelligence component here i am telling about the what is the problem we have and from the problem what are the things we can solve so after solving the problem after getting the problem formulation basic topic so we will find the this solution we are applying the three components of our intelligence what are those reasoning perception and learning so more detail about the reasoning perception and learning we will see later on but here we are applying so we know in the general way we know that is the point now is clear to all right now Yeah. Till now, everything is clear. Anyone who need to ask any questions, so please you can ask. Yes, tell me. The problem is clear. Okay. So yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Good. So let us move to the next problem and tell me the solution. Yes. Tell me. I am just uh, this color. And tell. Uh, you can take your time. Take a one minute to think. and then apply your reasoning learning and perception and try to over here to solve this problem so measure the 1 liter water from the 8 liter and the 5 liter jar it's very simple is it very this problem is similar to the previous one so what i have to do you can tell and i can write here exactly and that is why we using so we have to measure the 1 liter water from the 5 liter water jug and 8 liter water jug tell me Just tell me anyone who is just uh, able to speak over here. Just speak. Or you can use your paper and pencil to solve this problem on your notebook, whatever you have. Because can anyone tell me what is the first step I must take? Okay, so I'm getting your response. So you can speak. Sir, 
yes tell me uh, so there is one approach that uh, we will put that 8 liter water uh, fill the 8 liter uh, uh, step, and, uh, step, step by step you can speak so i can write yeah. over here so other student can also see the thing yeah yeah so, yeah. so, so the first step will be fill the 8 liter uh, flask okay i filled and then and then uh, we will pull out 5 liter from that so 3 liter okay. will be left okay again so... we will mix 8 liter yeah now again we will meet 8 liters in that uh, 3 liter plus the remaining mm -hmm. so it become 11 liters uh, okay how so, how it become how it become 11 liters so sir now this is 3 liters oh yeah that's that's not possible this is 3 liter this is a 5 liter yeah so when we will add uh, 8 liters it can't be added yeah mm -hmm. okay sir okay you can use paper and pencil to solve your problem on the uh notebook or so whatever you have just you can use so sir first we will fill the eight liters okay just just let uh, me let me remove all these points the stone on okay just uh, i can yes uh, yeah so first time filling the eight liter and uh, then tell me then transferring it to uh, into the second uh, five liter pot Okay, so this file and uh, this will be three. Tell me. Then transferring the, uh, after emptying the five liter, uh, transferring the three liters in the five liter one. See, this is the filled by the five liter, and now it okay. is contain uh, contain three liters. Hmm. We will empty the five liter one. We will completely wow. empty uh, empty the five okay. liter one. Okay, so I'm I'm just empty this one, so this will be zero. Hmm. Then we will pour the three liter left in eight liter jug back into the five liter jug. Okay, so this would be uh, three liter. This would be zero. Okay, then we will completely fill the eight liter jug. Okay, so this will be eight liter and this will be three. Okay, then we will uh, put uh, eight liter jug into the five liter, uh, which already had three and. Okay, uh, so this get... will be two. So this will be five, and this will be minus two. This will be six. Okay. Then we if will empty have... the fifth liter one, completely uh, empty. Okay, good. Uh, then we will pour, uh, pour the six liter into the five liter one. We will, we will, we, one liter. we will pour only see five liter, and uh, it will be five liter, and uh, this will be one. Hmm. And then this one we can transfer in form of the pouring into this. This will be solved. This would be solved. Now everyone is getting this point. Yeah. Everyone is getting point, or just tell me right now. Yes. So what is this? Yeah. This is the steps. So here you are trying your different idea. The one student is just telling me, sir, we can do like this one, but he was just stop because while getting the goal, he was fail. That is the way. Uh, I'm not the uh, uh, motivating, but just I'm speaking generally. So he was fail. So what he he just trying to next time he will try to reapply the different logic, and now the other student is getting the third point. So for getting or for solving any problem, what you will do, I suggest you personally try to solve any problem, whatever the problem you have in real life as well. Solve any problem on the page or uh, no register or note or whatever you have, and think how you can solve such problem, and what are the possible. Where possible outcomes you can have, then you can apply into the real world scenario. So that is a, we have the various kind of simulations. We can use a simulation. So this is not a way you can just apply any parameter or the simulative way. So that is the reason simulation work we can apply to get the trial and uh, the run based concept. So that is not applicable. But in our real life, we have the many problems. Or how we can solve? That is a challenging task, as I told you in the beginning of the micro. In any world, in in this world, we have many problems. So we have to accept all the challenge, and we have to find a solution by our logic. And the logic is the word I am speaking again. Again, it means for improve the intelligence, your logic should be clear and uh, uh, find toward the problem. So first, for first, our objective should be clear. The problem. Must be clear. Problem must be identified. If you are not understanding the problem, then you will not able to get the solution in smooth way. 
so what you will do and this is will be happen with the many times with the many students they will not able to understand the problem in the one or two times they will try to focus on the solution why you are focusing on the solution first first try to understand the problem and that is the point so our uh, topic next uh, which is coming from this problem as is problem identification so problem formulation we can do but we are fail to problem formulate at the first time or second time the reason is that we are not identifying the problem our next topic is what next topic is problem identification from understanding this kind of examples we will have the topic that is the problem identification means we have to identify the problem first objective should be clear in our mind for building any project for building or for designing any idea designing any implementing any idea designing any model the problem should be identified after identifying the problem then you will try to get the solution in a uh, better way that is the point okay so this is solution uh, i'm sharing here these are the various steps these are six steps we have so you can utilize these steps as per the student telling me so these are the various good steps you can follow and to get your solution now this is the point now is it clear to all right now so far we have discussed or anyone who need to ask any question i suggest to while writing anything on the chat but is better idea to you can speak uh, to me so we will connect together okay next time try to speak rather than the try to write on the chat box okay so i will be happy to get your voice properly on this way yeah tell me right now so far everything we got the points it is clear to all or you need to ask any question so we can discuss Clear, sir. 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 Cl